In this video, I'm gonna tell you why Wuthering Wave is gonna be better than Genshin Impact. This video took me days to make, so please sit down and watch the video into the end. And you will agree with me. If you do enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate the bell notification on, and put a like, that means a lot. Let's begin. First thing first, let's talk about the combat. In Wuthering Wave, the combat is better than Genshin, and more complex. What I mean is, if we watch the video, as you can see, you need to counter, dodge, attack the enemy, and you don't one-shot everything like in Genshin. You have to work your way to defeat the boss. And I think that is special because once you're done defeating the boss, you will feel a satisfaction way more than beating a boss in Genshin Impact. And I feel like this is one of the reasons why Wuthering Wave is gonna be better than Genshin. And we can all agree with that. Now, let's talk about the character kit. In Wuthering Wave, the character kit is way more unique than Genshin Impact. What I mean is, if we compare it to Genshin, Genshin only have elemental skill and burst and normal attack. But in Wuthering Wave, you can use skill, echo, burst, and when your bar is full, you can use your surge attack. And it will do unique attack enemies, it will do a lot of damage, but that's not it. You can even use outro slash intro, which give you buff to your party. And not only that, it can debuff your enemy as well. And this is why I think it's better than Genshin Impact. Their kit is way more deep than Genshin Impact. And I know that everyone can agree with that. Also, Wuthering Wave Dev does listen to their community compared to Genshin Impact. Here an example. In CBT1, players were complaining about the world being way too dark. They wanted it to be more colorful, and in CBT2, the dev made it more colorful. And that's not all. They also released a dev message, and they said they gonna rework the character kit, and they gonna rework on the echo, more specifically the substat, because apparently the sense was low. And that mean Wuthering Wave care about its community compared to Genshin who does not listen to their community at all. And that's why I feel like it's better than Genshin Impact. And everyone here can agree on that. If you don't agree then you are delusional. Another thing that Wuthering Wave does better than Genshin Impact is the ecosystem. If you don't know, the ecosystem let you capture monster. But in Genshin, they don't have such a thing. The only thing they have is some kind of Pokeball where you have to capture some random animal and put them in the pot. But Wither and Wave is far better because you can use them and the Echoes help you in the battle, in world exploration and can even help you heal. And the fun part is there is shiny echoes. And I can guarantee you that we can do even more with them. That's the reason why I feel like Wuthering Wave does better than Genshin. In Wuthering Wave there's already multiple endgame compared to Genshin Impact that only have one and it's the Abyss. But in Wuthering Wave there's already more like the tactical hologram which is the hardest endgame so far where you have to counter the enemy and dodge it attack. Fail to do so will lead you to your death. The other one is Depth of the Elusive Realm which is similar to the simulated universe in Honka Star Rail but far better and far more challenging. And the last one is Tower of Adversity which is similar to the Abyss in Genshin Impact. I'm not gonna lie, Wuthering Wave is far better because of that, there's way more things to do. There's already three things you can do at the end game, while Genshin only have one and it's been Four years already? Like what the fuck are you doing Genshin Impact? 
People want more challenging content, and this is why I think it's far better, of course, than Genshin Impact. The last thing is the banner system. You see, Weather and Wave have a pity of 80 to get a guarantee 5 star, but the thing is, event characters have a 50 50 to win. But what does it make better than Genshin Impact is the weapon banner. The event weapon banner have a guarantee of 100% of getting it, which is already better than Genshin Impact because Genshin Impact event weapon banner, you have to spend at least $500 to get a guarantee weapon. Not only that, Water and Wave have a standard character banner and a standard weapon banner where you can select what you want in that weapon banner by the way. And also you can buy copy in the shop for the character and event character as well. And this this is why Wuthering Wave is better than Genshin. Now that's all I have to say about Wuthering Wave being better than Genshin. If you did enjoy this type of content, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, activate the bell notification, and don't forget to put a like, follow me on twitch.tv slash dlx, and comment down below what do you think. We will see you next time. Bye bye.